Hello, I am Brian Foster, and I am talking about Spiritism, brought to you by Alan Kardec, actually codified by Alan Kardec in the 1850s. I recommend that everyone read The Spirit's Book. It's available free on PDF, The Spirit's Book by Alan Kardec. Today we're going to talk about the old saying, when a door closes, another opens. And really what this reveals is the plans by the spirit realm for you. It's an old saying, when a door closes, another opens. But it's true. By recognizing this, you have a clue to how the spirit world operates and the plans for your life. Take myself as an example. Growing up, I always wanted to be an Air Force pilot. I had plans to enter the Air Force Academy and graduate flying fighter jets. My goal was to become an ace. I didn't care against whom, and any enemy would fit the bill. My father was in the Army Air Corps during World War II. Did I get my desire to be a pilot from him? Not exactly. He was a sergeant, albeit a highly trained one. He worked on the hydraulic systems for the first United States jet fighters. In fact, he and his buddies were on a ship loaded with top secret jet fighters bound for Europe when the war ended. My father didn't waste his top secret status, though. Only he and a few of his buddies were allowed to look beneath the tarps, covering the jet engines. Taking the opportunity in hand, he hid cigarettes and silk stockings inside the engines. Later, he was able to trade these rare commodities for diamonds, black market diamonds, that his sister used when she got married, much to my mother's everlasting disgust. He did see action, though. When he was dealing with a trader in a partially burned out building in Germany, a competitor took a shot at them. My father ran down the stairs, saw a German policeman, took his rifle, and ran after the culprit. He never got a good look at who tried to kill him. On my mother's side, her brother was in the army before World War II. He didn't like it so much, so he decided to travel to Tijuana, Mexico, to recover his inner peace. His sergeant found him and brought him back. So, from that proud tradition of military service, I too wanted to play my part. All was going according to plan until the end of my junior year in high school. I noticed that I wasn't performing sports like I used to. When playing baseball, I would miss the ball more often. In the outfield, I would lose the ball in the air. Finally, my father recognized the problem and took me to the optometrist. I discovered that my 2020 vision had left me. The optometrist also told me that I was right-eyed and left-handed. I asked, what does that mean? And I was told that meant that I was a mixed-up kid. He was correct. I was at a crossroads. My career plans were destroyed by my poor eyesight. I thought about becoming an officer in one of the other services. A friend of the family arranged to have a marine officer come by the house to talk to me. He knocked on the door and my mother saw him and straight away told him I wasn't interested. I never got the chance to talk to him. I don't remember her ever doing anything like that to me before or afterwards. On her own, she eliminated one of my options. Instead, I decided to major in computer science at the nearest University of California campus at Irvine. My life trajectory took an entirely different path than the one I had envisioned. I thought all of this had occurred by chance. Nothing could have been further from the truth. It was written. I was to follow the blueprint laid for me before my birth. In Galatians, Paul wrote, But even before I was born, God chose me and called me by his marvelous grace. Paul, the apostle, had a blueprint also. I do, and so do you. There is no human born on this world without a plan. There is a reason for this extensive and complex planning. It is twofold. One is for each of us to travel through new required experiences and to pay for our past wrongs. Hopefully, along life's ups and downs, we become better souls. The second reason is some of us are here to move society forward although it may seem to be a step back. The spirit world tells us that progress is accomplished in spirals, not constant forward movement. Spirals mean that sometimes we have devastating wars, 
such as World War II, which are barbaric but are meant to reset whole cultures and nations to make the next great leap. Individually, we are no different. There are times when we must hit rock bottom to achieve a new top. Hence, as you travel through life and your path appears random, know that it is not. You are following a road that has been paved ahead for you and that everything, well, almost everything, occurs for a purpose. Take comfort that you are being watched and analyzed. You are being herded to a new plateau. It is up to you to educate yourself from trials and tribulations which befall you. Failure to improve means that a new set of trials will be fashioned for your next life instead of a smoother, more relaxed existence. It is your decision. Learn more about Spiritism and how your life is pre-planned. Read my book, The Seven Tenets of Spiritism, How They Impact Your Daily Life. God bless.